Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another Warno ranked match. On the right side, I am playing 11E. On the left side, we got Durr here playing his 101st Airborne. Anyway, let's go over deployments here. Opening up with two CVs, one going to the north and one going to the south. We're going for a southern push here with two of the most OP unit in all of Warno, the best AA piece ever, the VLRA, comes in sud and 11E. We're doing a Milan, two Chassier Perez, two Marine Perez. Um, and a good old recon going over here for this, but everything else going down into Charlie over here again, OP unit, the VLRA going with two superior, two legionary paras and two e uh, ERC nineties tanks. And we got one recon going to the far North. Our opponent here opening up with an F4 phantom right off the bat four arrow fire team dragons spreading out across the map with one green break going to center with a little bird. Similar over here, we got a green beret, but this time also a AA piece coming in the Chinook and a little little bird as well. And two Delta squads with a singer, a fire team dragon, and an arrow rifle behind them. Anyway, let's kick this game off. General strategy was to play aggressive for Bravo here in the back section here with our elite CQC and medium range infantry. And then try to go for an aggressive play here. I thought maybe I can get in here before our opponent. Um, but man, was I wrong. You see his Delta Force does have airborne deployment. I kind of overestimated that, even though it doesn't have any AT. So we are going to get caught out in the open here pretty badly. And the Hilo is coming in, dropping stuff off. It's pretty fast. And it's unfortunate for us, the VLRA, which is one of the fastest AA pieces in the game, and for deploy, didn't quite have the speed as the Chinook. And it does land without any incident in both locations. As you can see, though barely, but uh, he does get the landing off. Our little birds, though, aren't going to do nothing, though. Little birds are immediately going to open up on this little bird. Or sorry, VLRA are going to open up on this little bird. Get a clean kill. There's 75 points there. We got another one over here. Immediately going to go down to the VLRA, which is, you know, already paid for one and a half of itself, uh, which is nice. Getting a Milan 2 in this building here. Trying to get these squads down these buildings, but they already have landed, and now we're in a bad spot. Because uh, now we're out of position. This, this mill on two is going to get overwhelmed by firepower. He's just going to snipe a stinger there. The VLRA are trying to kill the Chinooks. Did kill the one leaving over here, which is 65 points. So it does pay for all that. Um, and this one going down as well would pay for both. Because now they've killed two 65 point helos and a 75 point helo. So both these VLRA already positive on the trades. Over here, we're going to rush our two superior here to go after the Green Bray with Legionary Paris hanging out behind the line. Uh, we just got a double vet too, so they're pretty nasty. But now the Green Beret is going to go down. And our recon here is going to fight a defensive fight against that squad. Easily knocking it down. And there you go. 100 point Green Beret. One of the most expensive units for NATO. 14 man squad. Getting annihilated. See another Green Beret coming in here. The VLRA are not going to let him get away this time with it. He does have a bomber coming in here, but I'm telling all my VLRA to ignore everything else. Get a clean kill. It's 165 points down right there with that one kill. And you know, now the whole center is open for us. We do have an LGB here coming in here for when going for the Green Beret. Trying to even out the fight here. But between the 50 cows, sniper teams, and air rifles. Um, sniper rifles in the Delta squads. We're being annihilated in this engagement. This is like really bad for us. Pretty much all these squads are being freaking destroyed. Uh, though we are winning in the north, we are going to lose the south. But arguably this is his own point. He has to control this to even go even if he owned all. But he needs to own both to go even. So we're going to move the CV over here. It's going to make us go plus three. He's got his helo CV coming over here, but he can't really move in until he gets his fire teams up to knock out the VLRA. But I'm not going to allow that just to happen. I make a mistake by, I meant to buy them over here, but I gave the order to go over here. And this, these three legionnaire pairs are going to go way more forward deploy than they ought to, um, which is not good. And we're gonna start retreating these momentarily. We do have our light tank here just firing on these dragons. He finally gets out of the building. And now we're capping the zone, going plus three. VLRA. Trying to run away. There is a slope right here. The dragon does miss here. Get away with it. Now we're running as fast as humanly possible. He's about to get out of range, though. He fires another shot. And we are out of there, though. We're way out of his range. Long gone. And I buy two mortars here because I meant to smoke push with these things, but sadly, I gave the wrong order. If you have a recon here just pushing up here, I do have this AT tank just helping out. Just make sure this guy goes down with no real incident. And it looks like he will momentarily. 
And there you go. Thanks to supply too, because this thing is very little ammo, only 20 rounds. The VLRA kind of getting low on ammo. Uh, but our opponent here making a fatal mistake now. He's getting some air uh, rifles AT4 coming over here. He's going to rotate them and hang out on this section here to prevent any assaults on this location. Um, which I, you'll see me deploy my VLRA to go chase him, thinking that he was going to fly over here. But he actually lands way more conservatively. But these, he's going to go play really aggressive. These Chinooks are the better, these are the weaker Chinooks. These are 50 points. Still 10% ECM and 85 point squads in there. So we're, you know, 135 points there. Total equipment, you know, 170 points or 270 points here coming down the, the airways. Got three fresh squads here coming with another little bird and Apache. Um, but we're going to have to use these VLRAs. And this one's already been vetted up. So it's already two vet. I mean, triple vet because the CV's nearby. We come one vet. We're about to get a huge engagement here. This is going to be a big play. He's going to come in here. He's going to try to land as quickly as possible, playing aggressive. But he's not ready for the VLRA. I don't think he sees how powerful these things are. All of a sudden, he's now totally stunned. Loses this one. We're going to focus fire on the one over here. Eliminate it. Now we're going to aim at the other one. Fire a burst. He's going to get stunned and then go down. And he just lost all of those points right there of Elite Infantry. F4 Phantom coming in here, trying to strafe. And this thing is actually triple vet on its own. It's been vetted up twice already this game. Uh, over here, though, these guys, as we said, we make the mistake. We met a supply in here. And now we're caught out totally in the open with our pants down. Uh, we're going to take some huge amount of pains there. F4 Phantom coming back around, going for the Puma Recon. Gets a clean kill there. We're going to buy a fighter of our own momentarily. Mirage 2000 coming out. Out the gates, going for the F4 Phantom. We're buying an LGBT, where the one that we bought earlier is coming back out to do some damage to one of these squads to help our situation out. F4 Phantom goes down to the Mirage. Mirage turning around, going for the F15 now. But we are out of long range missiles, we only have short range. And our missiles miss. Get the LGB off, two kill an air rifle, but the F15 coming back around, getting clean kill on the Mirage 2000 with a good play by him with the F15. And he does evac there. Uh, but while this is going on, he did finally mop us up over here with the Little Birds and Apaches. Our AA was too far back. And we were microing over here while he was mopping up our stuff. We do have three A pieces and two more squads coming now. Um, and we, you know, we're not doing well over here. We're getting kind of annihilated. Apache is going to start firing here. And there goes that. Little Birds, man, they're so powerful. I tried chasing him, but I'm really on low ammo. I'm going to back up here momentarily. We got more reinforcements coming. Now I've kind of decided, I don't know if it's really worth fighting over here. This legionary pair is getting cut out in the open. This SAS not running away. And all these squads are kind of on their own. I do move up one VLRA that I still have left. We lost the other one to the dragon, the tower. But I want to kill this little bird. The little bird is 75 points. We immediately go for it now. Making him panic. And we do get him away there. We've been vet up again. Get some more AA coming here. And we'll bring up reinforcements. And these two chats here should be able to beat these squads because they're wounded right now. Backing up here. Keep one VLRA over here just to make sure he, he's got a play on us. Buys two daps coming in here. Blackhawks with 30 mil. Rockets and rotary gun. We're trying to unload these guys, and he's playing super aggressive with them. This time I have a lot of AA though, and we've rearmed our tank and our VLRA over here. And now we've been kind of smoked over here, but we're kind of smoking him over in this location. And we're all aggressive. We're plus two on him right now because we own his objective. He moves in again, playing way too aggressive. VLRA coming in now, doing more damage. He's not ready for it. He's trying to Kite the edge, loses one, loses two, VLRA kills everything. That's devastating right there. We got more infantry coming into center as well. F-111 coming in here, trying to get a bomb load. He fires his bomb, but we're going to get out of the way here. Immediately evacuing. Bomb, and we dodged the, the attack there. Getting out of the way. Now he's in a bad situation. The Chassiers and the VLRA are going to engage. He's moving over his Apache. I'm not going to let his Apache just sit there, though. I'm going to buy a fighter momentarily. Come after him. Man, these VLRA are so crazy good. Tank's helping out, too, now. 
His CV, he needs to get his CV in here. He's only got 15 minutes now. Fighter's coming in though, going in for the Apache. You can see me buying some Zell's O2, some tanks. I'm gonna start building up a real force here. And he does just surrender there, knowing that I've got that point kind of locked down on him. And I can keep attacking the other point whenever I feel like. But really, I mean, he's a good player too. Uh, he's got a lot of games under him, and he's, he's a good player. Um, but the VLRA, man, that's a crazy amount of kills. We got one, two, three, four, five, six helos. One of these helos alone it makes us go positive. Little Bird is 75. 65 for the better Chinooks of the Green Berets, which are 100-point squads. And then the Chinooks here in the AT4 is, is the 50 point ones, and that goes even there. Um, and then 85-point squad in them, that's brutal. And then the DAP's going down, both of them. That's like a that's a thousand points right there, or almost. And then we did tons of work with the other Vabs as well, killing more helos, little birds, another Chinook. Just yeah, Vabs just putting down the work on him. And his air rifles and stuff caught me out in the open. And his green uh, he's not his green braze. His the green braze did do work too, but the uh, really the Delta Force Humvee and the sniper rifles on the Delta Force is really putting down the work on us. Uh, but yeah, we got the key positions, and obviously the VLRA is my favorite. I think unit in the game it comes in the set. It comes in 11th for deploy puts down firepower like crazy. It's fast. It's so freaking fun. Anyway, guys, and it, I think this kind of proves the point and I'll see you guys around. Let me know what you guys think about the VLRA and I will see you guys around. Thanks for watching.